Good day to you of yours. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh huh. It is kayak mass time in Karaku, and we are building up activities leading to this big mass. It is the time of the year that everyone will be coming to Karaku, joining us. Uh huh. Right here in Karaku for one of our biggest festivals on the island, kayak mass. And with us this morning, uh. We have the chairperson of the festival, Kayak Mass, runs from February 8th to the 13th this year. With us, we have Mrs. Princess Harry John, the chairperson of the festival. Good morning to you, Mrs. John. Good morning, Ms. Serena Mills. Good morning, and good morning to the viewers on this platform. We are here to talk Kayak Mass 2024. Lovely. So if we're talking plans about Kayak Mass 2024, how are things going? The plans and execution, how is it thus far? Plans are very well underway. I must say we had a slow start, but um, you know, the Christmas season just ended. So we as a Christian community was allowing persons to, you know, continue with the Christmas um, celebration, but we are here and ready to run with Kayak Mass. Lovely. So Kayak Mass, I mean, it includes a lot of mass band, the artists, the carnival queen contest. And if you could just give us briefly um, whether you, you discuss and met and our plans. I'm oh, yes, definitely. General. So we had a launch of the festival on the, in October, October 27th. And um, it was well attended despite the inclement weather. But we want to thank all the supporters, sponsors alike who came out and, you know, um, enjoy with us. We had meetings with the different stakeholders. We met with artists, we met with the mass band leaders, we met with Shakespeareans and all the other aspects of Carnival. Um, I can see also we have Spice Mass who is working along with us, you know, for the different um, um, aspects of the festival. And we had a meeting with them last week and we also um, had a judges workshop for artists. So I can say that this year we see an improvement in the judging criteria for the different competitions and not just the artists but we also had judges workshop for the queen show as well lovely lovely i remember yeah. seeing um the posting of that and that time we were in new york and i was like man i would like to attend that so how did the workshop go was it well attended very well attended i must say and um we had persons where we did have the office calling around to confirm for persons we had persons calling in the office the culture secretary at office to um confirm the um to register and the morning we had to, you know, add, we, ha we had refreshments and we had to, to add because we were overwhelmed with the ah. number of participants and we were very grateful and thankful to the person who showed so much interest in being a part of the workshop. Lovely. I know that you said that plan started late, but it look as you're right on board, mm -hmm. you're right on target, everything going, I mean, as planned and supposed to be. Yes, I must say with <laughs> the help of the community, the cultural secretariat, Spice Mask Corporation and all the different stakeholders. Uh -huh. Yeah. Lovely. Right. So, I mean, the artists, they are one of the main stakeholders of the festival. How are things going with them? I know just now would be the semifinals, Calypso, Groovy, Soka semifinals. I can say the artists are very upbeat and ready this year. We have a listing of all the all artists um, registration are completed. We had a registration going up to the 30th of um, December. And I can see that we have a record number of artists, artists registered for the semifinals. And I must mention that today, this evening, rather from 5.30 p.m. at the Tourism Welcome Center yard, we have the artists there will be dipping for the position for the three competitions, which will be the Calypso, Soka, and Groovy. As I mentioned earlier, we have 13 artists registered for the Calypso. And if I must call the names, um, we have Angelo Stafford, which is Quicksilver, Billy Collins, Billy Shackout, Hugh Alexander, Hugo, Jonathan Fleury, Flavor, Dante Sylvester, Playboy, and this will be his first year in the Calypso competition. We have Slade Matterson, PPM, Nevon Gabriel, Tweety, Terry Thomas, Clean Clothes, and this is Terry's first year as well. We have Clean John, Superfine Flint, Josh Phillips, Silver Bullet, Patrick Dixon, Major Dixon, and Nashanda Charles, Shanda. And these 13 artists will vying for a spot in the, in the finalists who would aware their come up against the reigning monarch, Lady B, Zerina Bido. Lovely. 
Wow, new artists on board. New artists. And it's nice. good to see that new artists yes. come on board for the Calypso. So we've been trying over the years to, to you know, have persons, you know, partake in the Calypso because you know it's dying out and we're trying to, to bring back to revive it. And it's good to see that person, we have new persons coming on board and taking part in the Calypso so semi-finals. Yes. But actually the, fin the finals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the Groovy, we have a record 23 persons registering for the Groovy this year. Nice. And um, they are as follows Hugh Alexander Hugo, Jonathan Fleury, Flavor, Gavin Moses, Mozo, Dante Sylvester, that's Playboy, and Playboy again is a new artist in the Groovy, mm -hmm. Lillian Joseph, who is two blacks, Shania Chesh, Shania, and also Shania is a new mm -hmm. um, competitor this year, Kinnick Matthews, K Empress. Kinnick Matthew also is would be our queen, one of our queen contestants. Ah, mm -hmm. well, nice. We have Rashid Gabriel, the regulars, Ezra and Stafford, Desi X, the Blow Brown, which is Led, he's a newcomer yes. too. Zayna Bido, Lady B, Antonio McIntosh, Tonio the Don, Carlos Andrew Moscos, Lyndon Adams, Pupa Lindy, and Pupa Lindy comes on every year to participate. Um, Dal Kalis, which is my age, Brendan Markey, Kira B, Josh Philip, Silver Bullet, Nashanda Charles, Shanda, Queen John, Superfine Flint, Jeremy Lane, Young 20, Patrick Dixon, Major Dixon, Eddie Thomas Cox, Ice the Maniac, and he's also a newcomer, and he also has a studio where he records for artists. And we have Jason Philip Big Red, who is coming back wow. for competition. Nice. And so there's some um, 22 artists will be vying for, vying for a spot in the finals, and they'll be coming up against the Groovy Mother, that's Matthew Golden Thomas. The man with the golden voice. Yes. One with the golden voice. We went to Guinea <laughs> along with Super Flint and, yeah. and represented us very, very well. well. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. We have the Soka Monarch, and we have a record 28 artists registering for Soka Monarch. Nice. Um, yeah, the hype is so on. Eight, eh? 28. <laughs> so we have Hugh Alexander Hugo, Jonathan Frey, the flavor, Dante Sylvester, Playboy. Ezra and Stafford, the Desi X, Slade Matterson, the PPM, Rashid Gabriel, the regulars, Kalias Andrew Moscos, Glenroy Bosin as Ground Guard, Glenroy is coming back in competition, Terence Isaac, Walla the Sticker Boss, Zarina Bido, Lady B, Antonia McIntosh, Tonya the Don, Kevin McFarlane as Miracle Man, Lyndon Adams, Pupa Lindy, Ricardo Philip Libra, NNB, <laughs> Brendan Mackey, Kira B, Dal Kali is the My Rage, Neil and Novan Gabriel, that's the duo, Black Dingers, Jason Philip, Igred, <coughs> Dilo Brown, that's LED, Nashanda Charles, Shanda, Clint S. John, Superfine Flint, Jeremy Lane, Young 20, Josh Philip, Silver Bullet, Eddie Thomas Cox, Ice the Maniac, Anderson Victor, the inches, and inches was first time in competition last year, so he's returning this year. Joshua Samuel G. Stone, Patrick Major Dixon, Major Dixon, and Neron Gabriel Tonic X. As you can see, um, and that's the finalist, the semi-finalist for the Soka Monarch, and they'll be coming up against Gavin Moses the Mozo. Um, if you notice, we have um, artists taking part in the three competitions. So that is very good, so if they didn't make it we have one artist um, placing in the three finals. That will be a plus. Lovely. All of them. And I'm happy to see that there is a mix here, young, the veterans, first timers. And basically, I think that the music over the years has been improving. And we want to encourage, even like some of the veterans, I, mm -hmm. I noticed them mention, Papa Lindy, to even walk along with some of the first timers, some yes, of the first yes, timers. Yes. When Shania Chase, I heard her sing, she's been singing in band, has a great voice. And I mean, I think that competition this year will be great. Very great and very competitive. And we just wish all of them the best. Best. Yes. And if you could just give us a run through of the calendar of events as to um, when would be the semi-finals and other activities for kayak mass 2024 that's where <laughs> everyone will be going right yeah, so everyone will be going at short piece so kayak mass that's where everyone will be going in the middle at all in the middle at all <laughs> yeah. yeah so on on the 24th which is wednesday the 24th of january we have our first semi-finals that's so the calypso semi-final is scheduled to take place at the hillsborough tennis court and the start time is at 8 p.m over the years we had um challenges with time starting on time and we have 
persons, you know, our stakeholders, the sponsors alike. You don't want to be sponsoring an event or a festival and, you know, starting on time. You want to be on time. The committee, um, the stakeholder, different stakeholders, we are trying our best. We are working very hard to make sure that all events start on time. And not only that, because of the amount of artists you have performing, sometimes the show would run up to late three in the morning because you're waiting on some artists, you're waiting on someone to come, and then the activity starts late and finishes too late in the morning. Right. So, so our conversation, our discussion, our meeting with the artists, those points were raised too, and you were calling them one time, two time, three time, and not there. That means you Move disqualify. On. We're asking artists to be there at least one hour before the start time. So at least they can prepare themselves, get themselves mentally and, you know, otherwise ready for the competition. I know we had artists saying, oh, they don't want to come out and listen to other artists perform and so, but I mean, it's your opportunity to, to capitalize on the, the other at the first artist performance so you can see where you can build on your performance. So we're asking artists to please be there on time. Patrons, mm -hmm. please be there on time because we will start the show on time. Of course, I'm surprised mm -hmm. that an artist will say that mm -hmm. because if it's me and let's say I'm performing number 10, I'm looking at what number one to nine is doing mm -hmm. and I know how to better on my performance. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So as I said on Wednesday, the 24th would be the first semifinal, which is the Calypso. The 26th would be the Groovy semifinals and the 27th, the Soka semifinal. And both is um to start at 8 p.m. at the Hillsborough Tennis Court. After would be our... Independence celebration, and we just want to take this opportunity to wish Grenada Caribbean Pretty Matnik a happy 50th anniversary. I say we're in a 50. Definitely, 50. I'm very proud to be a Grenadian <laughs> celebrating 50. Yeah, of course, and uh, recently we were in New York, and I can tell you, everyone coming down for independence, and what they did was to book the tickets so that they can stay in for carnival as well. So it's a dual celebration, independence and carnival together. Lovely, we are so fortunate. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, thereafter, our next event would be the the final roadshow, which is February 7th, and um, that's where we, have, we usually have artists dipping for the position for the finals. So we'll also have the Queen contestants there dipping for the position and the artists dipping for the position for the finals. So it'll be the biggest roadshow, the final roadshow, but the biggest roadshow and it will take place in the Hillsborough in front of the Jupa area there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many contestants you have? So we far? have five contestants. Lovely. Um if I may go back though we had a little challenge in you know securing persons contestants for the for kayak okay. mass and um for the Queen show rather. And um, we are very grateful that we have five persons. Um, we have two from Grenada, mm -hmm. one from Union Island, and two from okay. Caracu. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, persons might ask why we have contestants from Cap from Union Island. Um, if you notice, over the years, Grenada would have had, um, when they're doing their Queen show, you know, they would pick the person from Caracu, um, Carnival Queen finalist, to represent Caracu. So this year they have a tweak in how they do the, how they select persons okay. for the queen show. So it's open. So that's why we are able to pick. So if she wins, United Island wins, she could represent United Island. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. But okay. if she over, from over the years, if she won, then she would not have been able to represent okay. Karaku. Okay. Have the vine of a, um five beautiful young ladies vine for Miss Kayak Mass 2024. Thursday the eighth. Thursday the eighth, and that mm -hmm. is going to take place at the Hillsborough. A recreational ground. That's what we call Majestic Thursday. Majestic Thursday. Yes. Five yeah. beautiful ladies. Five beautiful young. We'll be fine for Miss Kayak Mass 2024. Who will it be? I'm hearing the voices. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. And um, that we normally have record tunnels in, in the Queen Show. And this year will be no exception. Of course. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. On Friday, which is um, our Soka Monarch. Power Soccer Finals. Fantastic Friday. Fantastic Friday. But before Fantastic Friday, we have um, the Kids Folic. Uh, Kids, yeah. We will not be having a competition, but we have invited the schools mm -hmm. and Caracu and Pity Matnik to have their kids come out on the Friday from 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. to portray, not really costume, but they can do in the, portray the independence colors right. or anything I like carnival like. So we're looking forward to. Beautiful masquerading. So there'll be parading in town. It's Hillsborough Street, yes, nice. from one p.m. Nice. on Friday. Nice. Yes.
Thanks. And later on in the evening will be our fantastic Friday. Soka Monarch, we have nine artists coming up against the reigning monarch on Friday to carry to start at 9 p.m. The most will have to look out. The most will have to be ready <laughs> to defend his crown. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. One of the most look for events for Kayak for Mass. Kayak Mass yes. Fantastic Friday. Mm -hmm. So come on. Mm -hmm. oh. We also match um twin the groovy with the soca. Right. So we're having groovy and soca on this on Friday. Well Friday would be a Friday big one. Friday would be a big one. So that's why we have to start on time because we have 18 um 20 artists performing on okay. one night right. so we have to be on time and the show have to run we have to go kayak mass 2024 lovely yeah. so mozo and golden mozo and golden yes mozo and golden thanks mm -hmm. and saturday on saturday we have a soccer fete where we say coolers make colors so mm -hmm. um Persons will be coming in with their little coolers. We have a, we have a, a specific charge for persons. The cooler door will be at a specific size. So mm -hmm. we have persons coming with the coolers. You have a fee and you come in and you dress in colors. So it's not just white or red or yellow. So it's cooler with colors. We just mm -hmm. have an independence just would have ended. Mm -hmm. So we chose that person to come out in the colors okay. on a Saturday night. In terms of the cooler and breakable bottles, how are you going to treat that? Would they... <laughs> I mean, can they come in with breakable bottles in um, the cooler? Well, um, that is something we have to, we, we still um, um, trying to, to yes. sort because, as you rightly say, and we are paying for it, so mm -hmm. the one person to come in with the bottles, bottles breaking, mm -hmm. and it's um, because we'll be serving in cups as well, so mm -hmm. we have to. Um, yeah. Because I'm considering yeah. that it's food season as well. Yes, yes. And yes. that same fill will be used. Yes. I know that you mm -hmm. all put plants in place. Yeah, oh, yes, to definitely, care of that. definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On Sunday, we have the D Mash Gra, mm -hmm. one of the most anticipated D Mash Gra, Pekong Kaiso social commentary. Uh -huh. Is it the, one wrong? One wrong. Okay. It's one wrong. Um, I trust that later on, going forward, mm -hmm. we might be able to do return two wrong. To, yeah, return mm -hmm. to the two wrongs, but um, this year is one wrong. But okay. we move it to the botanical garden. Mm -hmm. So, Kaiso is normally a smaller. Um, yeah. Event a smaller crowd, so but we're hopeful that this year uh, we'll see an increase in participation from the public, you know, the participants, um, the supporters, rather. So we trust that um, the Botanical Garden will be filled with not just callers and calves, so but patrons alike. Yeah, uh -huh. so nice ambience there, and then before that would be the Cambole. Cambole, yes, we right. have the Cambole. After the Cambole, will be after. So after the show, then the Cambole. Ah. So we call it Calypso and Cambole. Okay, yes. okay, nice, mm -hmm. nice, yeah. nice. Lovely. Lovely. And then and on one day, and mm -hmm. one day, which is our most unique, one of our most unique juve in the world. So, juve morning, you'll see the streets being filled with revelers, and we're asking everyone to be safe, come out in your numbers, and you know, enjoy Kayak Mass. Everybody come to Kayaku, and most persons from Grenada come to enjoy our juve safe, clean, and mm -hmm. secure. Mm -hmm. um, Started to carry to start up from 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. and I cannot see the time. The police is the one who give the time for, for Juve, but you know, <laughs> after the time, persons would find other place, other venues to go and finish their Juve jam. Mm -hmm. And um, from 3 p.m., we have the fancy mass parading on the streets, and later on, 9, 9 p.m., so we have the Monday night mass. Um, I can say that this year we have. More persons registration for the morning night mass than the previous years. Yes, mm -hmm. I can see that. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing new bands as well. New bands, new bands, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. We have a change in the route for the, the fancy mass and the morning night mass as well. Well, I should not say a change in route, but an extension. Okay. Um, because of the number of trucks that will be on the street, we usually um, assemble down by CHS, opposite the Catholic Church there, but because of the number of trucks, will be there in the north bands will not be able to to persons to the trucks will be extended up to the street here so mm -hmm. we extended it down a bit to the long one down by the airport okay so persons would assemble down there and come up to Hillsborough, go up to to um cop and mm -hmm. go up to the the uh, what we call Brango bridge mm -hmm. and make a turn down to church street arise uh kim's Plaza and back Lovely. Yeah. And we're encouraging them to start on time on as well. Time, because many time. times you in turn waiting for the start, waiting for the first band to cross. Mm, right. And so we have a marshal this year. So mm -hmm. when we say the time 
the, the first man would leave at nine o'clock. If you cannot leave at nine, we call the, the, the second band to come and Good. you might be automatically disqualified. disqualified. Yes, yes. yes. Working with time. Your time, yes, time yes. yes. Definitely, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And after the more after the morning night mass, we have a most unique um, aspect of the carnival again that Shakespeare. I can hear someone behind the camera saying, Wherefore rejoice. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you, Caesar. <laughs> your blocks, you your stones. stones, your chicken heads. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Right. So we have the Shakespeare to so at six a.m. at Montreal, down mm -hmm. into Hillsborough, and we do the stuff in Hillsborough. And Brunswick and Six Rose as well. And Six Rose as well. I like the yes. meeting of Brunswick Six Rose Harveyville, the school children. The school children, yes. Especially. And also Mount Pleasant would be um would be would be particularly this year. Nice, so, yes, yes, nice. So, uh, Mount Pleasant and Harveyville. Uh -huh. Yes, so yes. So we're showing that it's there for yes, years. Yes, to yes, come. for years to come. Lovely. Yes, and the younger ones are the ones to to continue with. With, um, with it as the older ones retire. Right. Yeah. And I've noticed over the years in tongue, when they get to tongue, the crowd is a challenge. I know you've been using the barricades and then the, the, some people complain that they're not hearing properly. Oh, so I the know. mic system, I want you to touch on that. Oh, yes, <laughs> mic system will definitely be in place. We have mm -hmm. um, the mics already and we have somebody Lovely. who will be working Lovely. along with, with the, with the mic in and mic in on, on the individuals um also we have the barricade already confirmed for the streets nice. because um person said why not put the masqueraders on top you know just a little high no. but um it will be very dangerous for yes. them because especially the older ones well not the older ones but the, the you know the, the aggressive the ones, aggressive the ones, ones yes, up, and down. up and down yes mm -hmm. and when they're giving the leak the this. heat yes it could mm -hmm. be dangerous for them they could fall on and damage yeah. themselves so yes it's better to be doing it first so that's why we have to corner off barricade so mm -hmm. persons can everyone can see we also will have um um areas where um persons be on top to do the viewing and so oh, the for the media yes the media okay. persons yes okay i'm mm -hmm. happy that you touched on that because i know mm -hmm. for the years people have been saying why don't we use um a platform for them to perform on? yes yes but we've been saying no, i've yes, been yes, saying that so i'm yes. happy that the community yes, discussed yes, that as well we spoke with it's this. a bit dangerous yes you know meeting with them they said mm -hmm. it's too dangerous yes, for them yeah. yes yes, yes. Mm -hmm. lovely lovely and um, our last lap, we'll also have the parading of the bands again for the final lap on the streets of Hillsboro. And there goes Kayak Mass. And the Kayak Mass finished. Yes. Then it will be Ash Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It yes. will be a great one. Yes. There's yes. a lot of people who will be coming for that. And I'm mm. happy that plans are already in place. We're just waiting on time, waiting on the day to be executed. Yes. Congratulations to you and the committee and yes. everyone who have been assisting and supporting with the Mass. Um, mm. In terms of sponsors, uh, how, how, how is that going? Okay, we have quite a number of sponsors already on board and we're still asking for persons if you not yet um, have not yet given your contribution or supported one way or another, you can still call and, and make a contribution. Um, we have all the government of Grenada, National Lotteries Authorities, Grenada Tourism Authority, and so on board we have Hubbard's, um, Jonas Brown and Hubbard's also on board with us this year for the first time for Kayak Mass 2024. We are very happy and proud. Nice. Yes. I hope you didn't leave with everyone. Anyone you know. <laughs> I trust not, but um, we so have far. Um, so far. That's all they who have committed their, uh -huh. their or pledged their contribution. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Hello. Mm -hmm. If you're viewing this, please come on board and support, come on board and sponsor because the mass belongs to us as a people. 473 Grenada, Caracol, and Pitchmatic. So come on board and let's make it great. This is your chance to encourage everyone to be part of this event. Mrs. John or uh, other members would come on from time to time to update on plans um, of the festival. But as I say, it's all of us to make it great. Encourage everyone. All right, so Kayak Mass 2024, we know, is going to be a big one, large one, heavy one. We have persons from the diaspora all over the world coming to Kayak Mass. We have persons from Trinidad coming to Kayak Mass, and Trinidad is also hosting the carnival. So we know that Kayak Mass is unique, and you should be here for all our activities. We have other activities, so from private promoters, which shows that each and every one will come out and enjoy themselves, be safe, make it safe, tell a friend, bring a friend, and enjoy Kayak Mass 2024, our team showcasing our rich culture, your passport to Kayak Mass for real mass and splendor. 
Lovely. I'm happy that we touch on a private promoters event because people bring me to me to say, oh, there are so many events on a particular day. But I'm saying that there are so many people who would be here. All the events will be filled. Right. And the <laughs> private promoters are working together with the committee. So partnership is great. Lovely. Yes. Um, persons who are not able to come into his borough this evening to view the, the, the deep enough position for the artists. We're going live on Expo Caribbean and Pity Matnik this evening. So please tell a friend, log on, and be there so you can see transparency. You can see the artists who are deep and they themselves will be showing you their position. So be there to support them. Thank you. For Kayak Mass. Thank you.